I have a story attached to this unmarked location that's up next. So, years ago when I was playing Fallout 4, I would always have noticed that fire exits that don't go the whole way down tended to be the end of dungeons or locations or some some point of interest. Now, we did see that a few videos ago at the Raider Stronghold in Beacon Hill, where once you completed the wee mini dungeon, killed the Raider, took the steamer trunk, there was an easy way down. Now, if we climb this rubble pile and go all the way to the top, in the direction of that, we can find some prefabricated pathways that lead us to a little camp, complete with a sleeping bag, a cooking station, some supplies for your trouble, and uh, a pretty good view of the area. Now, from here, you can snipe any nearby raiders, super mutants, or anyone that's causing you a bit of bother. Uh, the Boston Airport, very visible nearby. Fun fact, that building right there is an unmarked location. That is one of the only locations that is not finished in this series. It's like 300 and something. Um, it's the only one not ticked that I have to go back and do because the video got corrupted and I didn't realize till I had played through a few more. So there's a bit of fun trivia about this series and a reminder for me that I have to go and revisit that area very soon. There may be some other places that I may have missed um, once this series is finished, it's going to be put into a massive Reddit post um, that I will, you know, it's sort of paying homage to the first series that was never finished. And a bit of trivia about this unmarked location series. I have done all these locations before, back about six or seven years ago. And I got all the way to the end without the DLCs. DLCs weren't out at this exact point when I finished the series. Um... The, there was like four locations left. There was like a total of like seven or eight hundred. There was four left. And I didn't finish the four before I kind of quit YouTube at that point. So four videos never ever got done. So in this series when I get to the end. Although this series has twice the number. Because points of interest weren't included in the first one. Only the guide. Um, so a lot of this has been me exploring and kind of discovering stories as I've went along. Now, this wasn't meant to be a bit of a series update, but it's turned into just a bit of a discussion. You know me, I like doing long rants. Now, back to Fallout itself. Ooh, potato crisps. Nice. Found some supplies here. Can we drop down? This might be a point of interest. Can I sleep here? No. Anything underneath the bed? Also no. And we'll drop down to the next level. Oh, you can definitely sleep in these. And there's some cram. Yeah. This will probably be mentioned in a future on point of interest. Uh, it's quite cool. They're divided into two sections. So there's points of interest. And then there is like documented unmarked locations. So it's kind of three tiers. So if you can imagine, there's the USS Constitution. You know, primary location, it's level one. Then there would be a few named ones. I know the drug den is just north of that. And it's a named place, a bit like the uh, Wharfside Cottage that we just went into. Um, you know, this isn't named on the map, but you can go into it. There's a story behind it, even a wiki page. Um, and then there's what's called points of interest, which could just be a couple of items, a bit of a skeleton story. Um, nothing. It didn't warrant getting an unmarked location tag. So that's the third tier, and I've included every single one of them that I can find. A lot of them being random encounters, but you always find something new, so I've showcased all of them. And if you go there after you watch some of them, you may find something new, and isn't that kind of a cool aspect to this? Anyway, this turned into a long chat. I don't know whose camp this was. It just a it just seems like a random maybe scavenger, survivor. Doesn't give me the, the vibe of raider as such. Um, maybe just a settler. Um, and they definitely used this to uh, to get down if they needed a quick escape. This was certainly the way down. And, uh, oh, a cap stash. Well, fancy that. There you go. That's why you go to the end of them. Didn't even notice that from down here. Fancy that. All right. And that pretty much covers us uh, just east of the Old North Church, if you want to know the location. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.